and stir up some major hype gone and stir up ants nest with this comment and I personally offended too. Curry chicken or chicken curry? It's definitely curry chicken. Oh, okay. Oh my uh, God. The only person that you're going to hear say that is Guyanese people. Exactly. And they're not Caribbean, so. <laughs> why, why are Guyanese people Caribbean? <laughs> because it's in South America. It's not, yeah. We showed them love. We, right. we, we, we accepted them, but they're not, they not Caribbean. So let me explain to you why I'm offended and I'm not even Guyanese. And then you'll probably understand why Guyanese people are so mad and have basically canceled major hype. So I'm from Belize, a Caribbean country in Central America. So when he said what he said about Guyana, he might as well have said it about Belize. I got heated. I got so mad. I even started doing something that I never do. Arguing with ignorant people in the comments who feel that they're so bright because they know geography. Everybody knows Guyana is geographically located in South America and Belize is geographically located in Central America. But geography isn't the only thing that defines the Caribbean. Obviously, these people and major hype failed social studies. Belize and Guyana are culturally and historically a part of the Caribbean, and it all goes back to us being colonized by Britain, just like Jamaica and Trinidad and Barbados and all of Britain's other former colonies in this region. Belize, formerly known as British Honduras, is the only English-speaking country in Central America and Guyana, formerly known as British Guyana, is the only English-speaking country in South America. We were Britain's only colonies in Central and South America, so they lumped us together with their other colonies nearby, which happened to be Caribbean islands. Now, because of who governed us, we share a lot more in common with Britain's other former colonies in the Caribbean than with the Spanish-speaking countries on the mainland around us. In fact, back in the day, Britain used to bring policemen and civil servants from Jamaica to work in Belize. So our culture evolved very similar to that of the other British colonies in the Caribbean. I speak Belizean Creole, which is very, very similar to Jamaican Creole. I can't even talk Spanish. I only know a few words here and there. I grew up to eat rice and beans, which is exactly the same thing as rice and peas. So when people wonder how I fit in so well in Jamaica, it's because it literally feels like an extension of home. And how I know major hype and these other ignorant people in the comments are talking crap is because I actually passed CXC from the Caribbean Examinations Council. You hear my name? Yes, we take CXC in Belize and Guyana because we are part of the Caribbean. Nobody not have to adopt we or accept we. Right, we, we accepted them, but they're not, they not Caribbean. That's why we're also part of CARICOM, the Caribbean community. In fact, CARICOM headquarters are in Guyana. But why Major Hype's comments hurt so much is because it's an insult to our entire identities. I grew up feeling much more connected to the Caribbean than to Central America. Every Belizean grew up listening to reggae, dance, and soca, in addition to our own punta music. So to say I am not Caribbean is just as insulting as to say I'm not Belizean. And I'm sure that's how Guyanese people feel too, and what is so vex. Being Caribbean is so much a part of our identities from birth that it hurts for someone who's also presumably Caribbean to say, oh, you're not actually one of us. We accept you because you hang around us, but you're not really one of us. It's divisive and it's hurtful. And I don't believe it was meant as a joke as how he claims, because the way how he said it, it was like he was explaining a fact. And if it was supposed to be a joke, he needs to understand that, you know, run that kind of joke, you know, funny. It's a sensitive issue, especially for us as Belizeans, because we often feel excluded and it's like a fight to be recognized anyway. Every time I say I'm from Belize, I have to give a whole history and geography lesson, which by the way, Major Hype is actually doing a big show in Belize this weekend. And I, I hope he sees this before the show so he can get it. Somebody just tag him in the comments, you know. The reason he's popular there is because he's a Caribbean comedian and we relate, that, we relate to that as Caribbean people. 
Now, just to be clear and to answer some of the people in the previous comments, I'm not disputing that Belize is also part of Central America or that Guyana is also part of South America. As a Belizean, I identify as both Caribbean and Central American, but personally, I feel connected more to the Caribbean side because of how I grew up. FYI, people can be two things. It's somewhat like a Jamaican who was born in the States, but whose parents raised him as Jamaican. You're geographically located in the US, but your parents taught you how to speak Patois and cook oxtail and curry goat. You would identify as both American and Jamaican. As a country, our parent slash colonizer was Britain, and we were raised with Britain's other kids and became part of that culture. The only difference is we were on the mainland and the others were islands. Now, granted, Belize's population has shifted over the past 20 years, and I'm sure there are Belizeans who feel more connected to Central America than to the Caribbean, but that's a whole nother conversation for another time. But anyway, I, I hope that clears things up and explains why I personally took the Guyana comments so personally and why Guyanese people are as upset as they are. And if you disagree with me, just block yourself and unfollow me one time because I'm sensitive about this issue. Some major